Hi, my name is Pelo Bakwa, employee one at Overtools, and I'm young and fabulous. So I grew up in a very strict household. I wasn't allowed to go anywhere else apart from school and church. And growing up, I was the kind of person who thought everywhere else was a village. But at this time, someone came to live with us and he was telling me he was from the Volta region. He told me how beautiful the place was and I just wanted to see it. And for fitness, um, I just needed an outlet. Like I, I was just bored. So that's how come I ended up picking up fitness too. When it comes to travel planning, I like to sit down and research extensively before I visit a place. And apart from the researching, a lot of money goes into traveling these days. So I like to save ahead of time. And I'm someone who likes to move a lot. So I try to find activities and places that would allow me to do that while experiencing the culture and the food of wherever I visit. And when it comes to fitness, it kind of gets boring sometimes, I'm not going to lie, but I like to switch it up with fitness challenges here and there. Like I just recently completed the 75 hard challenge. So with the 75 hard challenge, I had to work out twice a day. One had to be outdoor and then they were supposed to be at least 45 minutes. I had to drink a gallon of water every day, which is about 3.8 liters. And I had to read 10 pages of a non-fiction book, take a progress picture every day, and yeah. And then no cheat meals and no alcohol. I did that for 75 days. <laughs> it was really hard, I'm not going to lie, but I pushed through. The child's experience I'll never forget. This happened just last year on 15th April. It was my first open group trip. We went to the Volta region and we had just had dinner. I think it was around 8 p.m and we were leaving home, we were coming back to Accra, and the tire went flat. <laughs> so we stopped at the fueling station, and I thought the driver was going to take out a spare tire to change it, but he didn't have a spare tire, and I was so stressed, because it was like my first, my first ever group trip out of Accra, and then this happens, like, what was going through my mind was, what are people going to think, like, what are people going to say about this when they get home? But um, I think I just I just tried to stay calm and um, we found someone to repair the tire and we were, I think we stayed there for about an hour, but everyone, everyone was calm and we ended up in Akaya One Piece. At the moment, my favorite travel destination is Buzia. I love Buzia because of the food that's there. Like the food is always fresh and it's so tasty. And I also love Buzia because of the beach. And also I get to surf there every time, which I love, so. Yeah, that's my favorite travel destination at the moment. It, it might change, but yeah, for now, I always want to go back to Luzia. So when I'm working on travel itineraries for my clients, I like to have calls with them and try to understand what their interests are. So that way I can pick the best travel destinations and activities for them. So I balance my travel and fitness goals by integrating fitness into my daily plans. So sometimes I like to pack escaping rope or go for a walk or go hiking while I'm on trips. That works for me. So one of the challenges I face in this industry as a female is um, safety concerns. People think I'm not strong enough to protect them, but I'm tougher than I look. I may not look that tough, but trust me, I am. I always make sure that there are safety measures in place. So every time you join us on the trip, you'll be safe. Don't worry about it. So yeah, I've been able to make a sustainable living from my career and I think I, it, it helps me pay the bills. Do I even have any bills to pay? I, I do have bills to pay and then the money is paying the bills. So yeah, all I can say is I am making more than I was making when I was in the corporate world. So there's this really interesting project I'm working on at the moment. It's going to be a two week long trip and we are going to experience different countries, different cultures. And I really can't go into details now, so just follow me for updates. So in the next 10 years, I expect to be known as one of the leading figures in the travel industry. And I also expect to have visited all countries in the world. I might even go to the moon, so. <laughs> so my advice to young people is, I mean, I'm young, yeah. <laughs> but my advice to you is just believe in yourself. Don't be scared to try new things. Life is short. Just go out and do what you want. That's what I'm going to tell you.